take his first step. Oh, look, he's doing it. Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of J Life. So as you know, I'm a biokineticist, and today on Sports Injuries, we are gonna be talking about plantar fasciitis. I'm gonna be joined by my good friend, and he's also a therapeutic exercise specialist. So let me bring him in. Hi guys. JP, I got a bad pain in my right foot. Can you please take a look, man? I think I'll have a look for you, man. Let's see. Mm. I think your shoe is too tight, man. Mm. Yeah. Let me just, let me just. Oh! <laughs> Johan, I think you've got a bad problem of foot fungi. If I, firstly, and then I think I need gloves for this part. <laughs> right, guys. So we're going to have a look at Johan's foot today and as you can see it's quite flexible which is a great thing but if you have plantar fasciitis your your flexibility is actually impaired all right so what is plantar fasciitis plantar fasciitis is when this fascia ah, ah, over here this is ticklish okay <laughs> <laughs> so, so this fascia over here gets inflamed so plantar means at the bottom of the foot and fasciitis means that there's inflammation in the fascia around this plantar. All right, so this usually happens when it gets irritated and this is a is a quite a noticeable pain. As you can see, Johan is experiencing a lot of pain, so much so that he doesn't have any skin or any bone or anything left, bone at least. Okay, so a lot of pain is associated with this and this is that typical feeling when you wake up in the mornings and uh, you just hold your foot like that, John. When you wake up in the mornings and you feel like, like you saw just now when the video started, it's difficult to walk in the mornings and sometimes it can actually become so severe that you, you can't walk at all. All right, so this is something that you need to go see a specialist uh, in, in, in sports medicine, your doctor, a biokineticist, a physiotherapist, go see those people so that they can help you and advise you to where you should go and what you should do. Um, home remedies, Yuan, that you can do to fix this. Where do we go from here? What do I do? What do to you fix do? That? So, so first of all, if like Yuan is now in the starting phase, he's starting to wake up in the mornings and he's struggling to walk. So most likely he started running, started doing jumping movements, something new. Or if he has been at the beach where the sand is quite unstable and he's got a lot of stretch underneath his foot and that caused inflammation. So now, in this beginning phase, there is something that you can do. So you can use NS8, so you can use anti-inflammatory drugs, or you can roll it. So you can do like a, like a fascial release. So the best thing for that is like to use a tennis ball or a hockey ball or something like that if you, that you got at home. And then you're just gonna put your foot on it while you're sitting at the, at, at the table and just roll your foot. Okay. Yeah. If that does not improve and it only worsens, then you know you need to go see our professional in your area. So that's the one thing. The other thing is, if you haven't watched our video of last week about Achilles tendonitis, I suggest you go and watch it because usually a tight Achilles goes with plantar fascia because it pulls on the back and it also starts pulling right around because fascia, I'm just gonna bend your leg, hold on. Ah, okay, so fascia goes all the way around and that's a connective tissue in our body and it connects everything, all the muscles, everything gets connected by fascia. So if you've got a tight complex at the back, it actually starts pulling here in the front. Okay, I'm gonna bend it back, are you ready? Ready? Uh, okay, ah. so guys, please make sure if you experience this pain, do not look like this, okay? So if your foot looks like this, I think it's already too late and you're gonna lose your foot. There's nothing we can do for you. But if you're experiencing the pain at the bottom, there is something you can do about it, luckily. And I suggest you do something about it as quick as possible. All right, another thing to look out for is too fast, too soon. So do progression in your exercises so that you get used to doing harder intensity type of workouts as you get fitter and stronger. And then as well, working on your flexibility. That's the main areas of avoiding plantar fasciitis. And if you go to the beach and you walk around on the loose sand, try and do something to loosen your calves at that night, especially if you're driving home the next morning, because you might experience that feeling the next day when you get home. So that's it from us and Johan's old stinky foot. Yeah. So until then, 
Sort yourself out, otherwise you won't have a leg to stand on. Exercise is medicine, so keep moving. Right.